In this recording, we will continue our uh, conceptual development of the uh, different types of reactors uh, and their behavior. Uh, and here we will derive the uh, design equation for a plug flow reactor as we learned so far is a tubular reactor where the fluid element is moving like a plug. In other words, it's not mixing with the fluid element in front of it, nor it is mixing with the fluid element behind it. So, here I'm going to define a volume element, which is going to start at Z, and it is going to end at Z plus delta Z. And this is going to be a cylindrical geometry, the cross-sectional area of this system is going to be A sub C. All right, so my differential volume element is delta V that is equal to delta Z multiplied by A sub C. I'm going to write my balance equation under steady state conditions around that differential volume element, not around a macroscopic uh, system boundary, but a microscopic differential volume element. So, uh, again, because it is steady state, at steady state, Right. What is steady state? Time evolution under force flows is zero. Uh, at steady state, dn over dt term is zero. There is no time evolution term that I have a fluid molar fluxes, Fa, this time, I'm writing this balance equation across this differential volume element. The entering Fa is Fa at Z. The outgoing molar flux is Fa at Z plus delta Z. The same term plus Ra times V they're all equal to zero. I would like to draw your attention to the analogy between this expression and this general expression. We lost this term because our system is operating at steady state. Now this volume element, of course this is the differential volume element, right? It's not the total volume, but it is the differential volume element. I'm going to substitute this definition in here, okay, and I will do some rearranging. First, I will take these to the other side of the equation, Fa at z plus delta z minus Fa at z this is the other side of the equation, they change sign, is equal to Ra times delta V, delta V is equal to delta Z times A sub C. I will divide both sides of this equation by 1 over delta Z times A sub C, or delta V, and I will take the limit as delta z goes to zero. Okay? 
and as a result of this mathematical intermediate steps that you should be able to do with relative ease, what I get is DFA over DZ, 1 over A sub C, to be equal to R sub A. Or I can combine those two terms and write this as a DFA over DV as R sub A. Okay, this is the design equation for a plug flow reactor. I will carry the analysis one step further. Here, let me generate myself a new clean frame. I will redefine FA in terms of its constituents. Remember, FA was CA times volumetric flow rate. So, if volumetric flow rate is constant, then my DFA can be defined as V times DCA and the design equation takes the following form DCA over D tau to be equal to R sub A for a constant volumetric flow rate system. So I want you to compare this expression dCA over d tau to be equal to R sub A with this expression dCA over dT is equal to R sub A. This was the design equation. This was the design equation for a batch reactor. This is the design equation for a plug flow reactor, the volumetric flow rate is constant. This was the design equation for a batch reactor for constant volume. And the mathematical similarity should be kept in mind. Here, the parameter time is the astronomical time, the time that you observe with your clock, with your watch. This is the space time, the time it takes this fluid element to traverse from here to here. All right, but they both have the units of time. This is the same constitutive relationship, R sub A, as we defined already as K times CA. And this is the same CA, the same CA. 